Hello, my name is Eric. I'm your Eagle Scout at home. During this Scouting at Home video series, we are going to be teaching you techniques and skills that Scouts of all ages can work on at their homes. It's very important to know that both Cub Scouts and Scouts BSA members can work on these skills and refine them. Do it with a buddy, do it with a parent or a guardian. Also, get your friends to join in on the fun. Send them this link to the Facebook or YouTube video and they too can learn along with these scout skills. Also, if you're watching this video and you're not already a part of the scouting movement here at LaSalle Council, go to BeASCOUT.org and you can find a local scout pack or troop to join. In this video, we'll be talking about some first aid skills, specifically how to maintain your body and to ease the pressure on sore muscles or swollen muscles. Now, it's really good that we talk about first aid after knot tying and personal fitness because first aid applies broadly to a lot of the other scout skills. In fact, I'm pretty sure first aid requirements are in about two thirds of the merit badges out there. So if you haven't experienced that yet, you soon will. So I wanted to talk a little bit about how we can take care of our body, particularly our abdominal muscles, our back, our legs, and our arms, because there's a simple acronym that we can all remember to take care of a swollen joint or a sprained ankle or a strained muscle. So here we go. If you've never heard it before, the acronym is called RICE, which stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. So if you can remember to do those four things when you have a sore joint or a sprained ankle, then you should be in the clear. Unless the injury is very serious, which of course you would have to go to a doctor and get it taken care of that way. So say you did a lot of squats last week because you watched one of my other videos and your, your leg was feeling a, a bit sore and uh, more so than usual. Well, the first thing that you would have to do is rest. Stay off that injured leg. If you, if you keep doing the same physical activity that you were doing that injured yourself in the first place, it's reason to believe that you're not going to get much better. The next step is applying ice. So it could be ice cubes wrapped up in a bandage, or it could be an ice pack, um, but say you have a sprained ankle. So I'll use this ankle as an example. Say you twisted this ankle, it's a little swollen, it hurts to walk on. Well, ice is going to be one of the first things you do after you stay off of it and rest, you apply ice to the injured area. But that goes along with something else that's very important, which is compression. So you could tie a bandage around it, keeping some pressure on the area, but not too much so that you are hurting more. And then coupled with the last step, elevation, you should be able to start healing that swollen, bruised, or injured area. So. Usually what I would do, especially when I was running track and field back when I was in high school, is I would lift my leg up and prop it up on a pillow or the, the end of the couch and then put an ice pack on it and just kind of chill for 20 minutes. Um, and then that rice method, it really helped me uh, heal when I was learning how to run and compete. So you might find that very helpful yourself. Thank you for watching this video in the Scouting at Home video series. I've been Eagle Scout Eric and I want to thank you personally for watching this and also following along with me and doing these skills at your home. We're all doing our part in being courteous to the world and stopping the spread of the coronavirus. But I also wanted to ask you to subscribe to our YouTube channel in the meantime. I'll be back here in a couple days with yet another scout skill for us all to work on. But if you subscribe to that YouTube channel, you'll be instantly notified when the next video goes up. Also, if you're on Facebook, please share this video around. To your volunteers, to your friends, sharing this video helps promote Scouting LaSalle Council and keeps us strong during this pandemic. Also, if you are watching with a parent or a guardian, we ask that if you are able and willing to make a Friends of Scouting donation to LaSalle Council. Donations can be collected on the homepage at LaSalleCouncilBSA.org. We thank you all so much for your time and your support. And this is Eagle Scout Eric, and I'll see you in the next video.